Hi, my name is Tom from TC Environmental Service. Uh, we're a tree service here in San Diego, and today I'm going to show you how to sharpen a chainsaw with a handheld file. Now, I keep my files in a white tube like this. The reason I do that is because it protects the files. They cost about a dollar a piece, and you can get them at any, pretty much any lawnmower shop. Um, I, at the bottom of these, I keep clay. I put a big piece of clay right at the bottom so it stops these things from jiggling around when I put them in. I grab a nice clean file, brand new, nice edge. They're made in Germany. They're made to push only, go one direction, and then it, uh, what it does is just files off the, the steel on the chain that needs to be done. Now this is a still 044, uh, MS440 saw and this is we're in the field right now I have a it's not cutting really good so I want to put an edge on it and these are the teeth these are the cutting edges right here okay and what happens is they get dulled and then we have to put a new edge on them if you take your file and you just kind of clean the top up just a little bit or maybe your fingernail you're gonna see on the top of every tooth there's a little niche a little mark that'll give you the, e the angle that you need to file this to you can almost do it by eye at that point and then as you look down here and look up across like this, as you come in and you look towards my hand here, you'll see that there's a half moon. You want to have leave a half moon. Now there's tools that they make that are specifically for sharpening teeth, but in the field we don't always have that option, so we use files. I use files. This right here is called the raker. I've already ground it down a little bit so that uh, it doesn't bind. If the raker's taller than the tooth, you won't cut. So the rakers have always got to be shorter than the tooth. They, some chains don't even have that. It's called a, it's called a, a comp chain. And uh, boy, it really grabs. Very, very aggressive cut. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to file one tooth for you. And then you'll see the edge. It's always a push motion. Push motion. I put my finger behind it to hold it. And I push through it. Keep going until I like what I see. If you don't get these filed just right, what ends up happening is it gets a, what's called a banana cut on the chain. So you want to get a nice, a nice clean cut. Now that one's done. If you look in there, you can see nice fresh steel underneath. If you look down from this angle across, now you can see that there's a half moon in there. Now what I do, uh, a lot of guys use the same hand for filing both sides of the chain. I will flip hands so that I get a decent. Um, you know a decent cut on both sides even that's where a lot of people make mistakes because inevitably if you use your same hand for both sides you're going to get a banana cut because you didn't file the same now I'm gonna flip the saw over and sharpen with the other hand and you'll see what I'm talking about over to this. that was a right-handed cut now I'm going for the left-handed one we did that one so now I'm going to do this one I find my I find my little notch, my little groove. You can see it's a little off, and then I put a quick edge on it. You'll get a feel on how to get it because you want to get this tip sharp too, so that it cuts. That's the first cutting point is the end of that tooth. This is called a chisel tooth, too, by the way. They got to make two different types of chains, chisel and rounded. I use this. It's an aggressive cut. Best for palm and soft woods, where the round is better for some of the hard woods. There we go. It's ready. All right. Well, that's, that's Chainsaw Filing 101 with uh, TC Environmental Service. And if you want to find us on the web, it's www. 277tree.com. We're here in San Diego and uh, we're here to serve all our tree clients' needs. Thanks for watching.